Hi, I'm Nikos on drums and today I want to talk about room treatment. So today I'm in my studio space, my band studio space, shout out to Manila Under Fire, my band. And this room right now at the moment is not treated. There are no acoustic panels, no gobos, no nothing. It's a bare room with a lot of reflections. As you can hear in my voice, it's very reverby. Today I want to show a before and after of an untreated room and the treated room. So I'm going to play some drums and let me know what you think. Um, I want to hear your comments on which sounds better. An untreated room for drums or a treated room? Let's go! So this is the full install, you see the, uh, you got the back panels behind the drums, cloud and wall panels over there, over here and this wall panel I'm using this area to track vocals so you see there are gobos here. These are six feet by three feet gobos and you have a cloud there so that's for tracking vocals and here on the front walls more panels so this is the full install there's the door panel over here so there you go So, uh, the studio space is now fully treated. I put up all the panels just to compare my talking voice right now. So, as you can hear the difference from the before clip. Today, I want to show a before and after of an untreated room and the treated room. There is much less reverberation, much less reverb because the acoustic panels dead in the room. They're a great addition to the studio, gives me more options and I can put them on, I can take them out whenever I want to 
whichever I see fit. Thank you again to NGO Acoustics for making these panels and installing them for me. Again, I'm Nikos on drums. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's a really short video before a comparison of an untreated room and a treated room. So with that in mind, thank you. Bye.